Danny Coker has made a big name for himself in the entertainment world as the charming host of both Counting Cars and Pawn Stars. But this interesting person is more complicated than they seem. Danny the Count, only Coker, one of the few real car stars, can hold his own when it comes to interesting stories. Are you sure you're gonna let them fail? Get out there. What's the sale price? 13. 13? How many weeks we had that? By eight weeks of overhead and labor? Just do me a big favor. Don't ever do it again. Because he is so charismatic and talented, Danny has made a name for himself in the music and film fields. You could hear the roar of old cars mixed with the beat of rock and roll as we work to figure it out. What he's been doing lately? Could there be something hidden that's about to be shown? People are looking forward to the solutions that are coming and are full of wonder. Danny Coker is an American businessman, artist, and media mogul who is here today. Having said that, he's not like most people. The 66-year-old has a lot of potential. Daniel gushed about his fame from the hit reality show Counting Automobiles, which is a spin-off of the legendary Pawn Stars and is known for its expert repairs of classic cars and bikes. Man, I love C2S. This could be the project I'm looking for. He said, this exciting new show will follow Danny Coker's interesting life as he shows us what goes on behind the scenes at Counts Customs, a famous car repair shop in Las Vegas. Since its release in 2012, Counting Cars has been a big hit in the entertainment industry thanks to its never-ending stream of homemade choppers and hot cars. But Danny Coker's interesting attitude is what makes this show stand out. When cars come through his business, he gets them at great prices, and sometimes he even fools us with how much money he makes when we sell them. As is so often the case, Danny Coker seemed to be plagued by court problems after his success. In 2014, two years after the show's launch, Danny and his team got into a court battle with Count's Customs. We will learn about the interesting details of that court case, which will shed light on the problems the well-known person was having. But this is only a small part of Danny Coker's journey. We can track his family tree all the way back to when he was just starting out in the music business in Cleveland. Next, we'll follow his quick rise to the top of the auto mod scene. Join us on this exciting journey as we try to guess what will happen with counting cars in the future. Danny Coker and his much-loved show may not be around for much longer. Danny Coker, whose real name is Daniel Nicholas Coker II, was born in Cleveland, Ohio, into a family that loved music and cars. He came into the world on January 5, 1964. He worked at Ford and then went on to be a musician with groups like the Oak Ridge Boys and the Foggy River Boys. Like his father, Danny became a musician and joined the Coker family band when he was 11 years old. Danny's performance at Carnegie Hall put him in the spotlight, which made him love music again. He plays shows and records these days with his band, Count 77. It wasn't easy for Danny's dad to work and love music at the same time. In the end, Ford Motor Company hired him as an official. Danny's life changed forever because of the work his dad did. He got a cruiser as a gift when he was eight years old, and it started a love affair that would last a lifetime. Danny's earliest years were spent in the Motor City. He was a smart kid. He decided to learn how to do it himself after his parents gave him a kit for fixing cars. Eventually, he made it his full-time job. Danny's family got their start in reality TV when they went into show business. When the Coker family bought Las Vegas Channel 33, Danny started hosting Saturday Fright at the movies as Count Cool Rider. Danny opened Count's Customs, a shop for repair and customization, so that he could handle both his growing restoration business and his TV role. Danny started making one-of-a-kind choppers and hot rods to meet the needs of his growing customer base. He became well-known after his Count's Customs were shown on the hit reality show, Pawn Stars. He had a lot of chances to show off his skills on TV, such as on American Restoration. As Danny's name got better known in the world of customization, the History Channel began to notice his skills and drive. They thought that using his study to make software could be useful, so Counting Cars was born. Danny Coker's amazing changes and deals were big reasons why the show became so popular so quickly. Danny Coker has a long way to go, but he is still a big deal in the worlds of customization and reality TV. People all over the world are charmed by his charisma on screen and his deep love of cars, motorbikes, and music. 
Tomorrow will bring lots of exciting new chances thanks to Danny and Counting Cars' commitment to new ideas in fun and car repair. Counting Cars is more than just another reality show thanks to the attention it has gotten from people who are interested in old cars and people who watch TV all over the world. The show is mostly about Danny Coker, who is a living hero when it comes to fixing up and customizing cars. People used to think that Danny was an expert at Pawn Stars before counting cars. A huge number of people loved him because he was charismatic and knew a lot about old cars and motorbikes. When he came on stage, he was sure to be the center of attention for the whole show. Danny has been the best thing about counting cars because he owns and runs Counts Customs. He takes the show to a whole new level of skill with his deep knowledge and sincere love for cars. He and his team of skilled professionals give old bikes and cars new life and turn them into beautiful works of art. As they enthrall viewers with their beautiful restoration and repair jobs, each episode shows how skilled and careful they are. Watching Counting Cars or its sister show American Restoration gives you a look inside the repair process. It takes more than a good end result to make old cars look like they're brand new again. The episode shows parts of Count's Customs repair and customization work that are difficult or complicated, like painting pinstripes by hand and getting rust off of a frame. Counting cars isn't just about cars, though. The show also shows how the group works together when they are under a lot of stress. Team members sometimes argue, and these tense and supportive times give the show depth and keep fans hooked to their screens, waiting with bated breath for each new episode. Counting Cars has been on non-stop since its premiere on August 13, 2012, making it a huge hit on TV. The early executive producers such as History, Zachary Bear, and Julian Hobbs, as well as the talented staff at Left Field Pictures, set the stage for success. As time went on, Bear and Ed de Rivaz were both moved to executive producer at History. Sean Moran, Simon Thomas, Jonathan Weich, and Tom Romita were some of the other team members who shared their knowledge and experience. Counting Cars has become a fan favorite thanks to its exciting repair projects, interesting personalities, an interesting mix of car knowledge and reality TV drama. The kind of thing that keeps people coming back is seeing Danny Coker and his crew work their magic on an old car at a time. Meet the stars of Counting Cars. Counts Customs has come a long way since it started out as Danny's private workshop. Kevin Mack, one of Danny's best friends and a fellow car fan, has been there the whole time. Danny's good sense with money means Kevin is there to keep him in check by keeping an eye on the budget. To make their trips even more exciting, Danny brings him along with him when he goes for exciting test drives in cars. Shannon Ikau as the store's main builder and bike shop boss for more than 20 years, Danny has relied on Shannon's high-quality work. On the show, Shannon shows off his skills by bringing Danny's ideas to life with accuracy and dedication. He never backs down from a challenge. Shannon is also great in the kitchen, where he makes amazing meals that everyone on the team loves. Ryan Evans and Mike Henry Shannon told the team about these two amazing airbrush painters because of how good they are. Because Ryan works for Danny, he is now the store's head painter. Ryan helps them come up with great ideas for their personalization jobs by using his creative mind. Fans lovingly call Mike Horny Mike because he brings new ideas to the team when they are working on big projects that need a fresh look. Mike's creativity knows no bounds, and he often adds eye-catching 3D horns to his unique works which grab people's attention. Danny's master budget pusher and the shop's accountant is Scott Jones. If he has to, Scott will fight with the owner to make sure that every job makes a lot of money. In any case, Scott's path changed in the third season of the show. Fans were interested in what would happen after he quit Count's Customs to start a new life with his new child in Tennessee. Everyone in the shop fell in love with Roly Sabo as soon as they saw her. To make sure that all of the fixed cars look brand new, Roly cleans, polishes, vacuums, and freshens them up by hand. But after he quit the business at the end of season six, things took a strange turn for him. Fans can only guess and make assumptions about why he took a leave of absence since the specifics are still unknown. Hold on tight, everyone. We're about to dive right into the exciting tales of counting cars. Over the years, Danny and his team of skilled techs and custom car builders 
have made some truly amazing cars. They have made such amazing changes that you will be shocked. Are you ready to be amazed as we look at some of these amazing buildings that have left a lasting impression? First up is the famous 1968 Bullet Mustang. Thanks to Pawn Stars' Rick Harrison, this beautiful design first showed up in the first episode. This Mustang was in bad shape when Danny got it, but Rick had a plan to fix it up and make it look like a bullet while staying within a reasonable price. In fact, Danny and his team did a great job. What did the boys' work on this pony car lead to? There's no doubt that the crowd went crazy for it. It was the start of more than 180 more shows that will blow your mind. Meet Sparkles 2, the sand car, and change gears. Even though this one-of-a-kind dune buggy isn't your typical muscle car, Count's Customs still gave it the thumbs up. They tried out a lot of different shades of blue to make it stand out with a custom paint job. Of course, they had to make it their own. How did they do that? How? By taking the headlights off of an old Mustang. This car is one of a kind. But wait a minute. Look at this Volkswagen Carmen Ghia from 1962. Don't be fooled by the fact that this Count creation isn't as obvious as some of his others. They really care about it. This custom-built car was given to the lucky wife of a team member. There's no doubt that everyone who worked on this amazing piece of art gave it their all. The car crashed into old chrome wheels with a shiny red finish. This is the kind of art that will get praise and attention. The last car on our list is the fierce 1955 Chevrolet Gasser. You will be amazed at the work Danny and his team did on this 1950s Chevrolet Gasser. The car was already pretty great. A great pinstripe paint job shows attitude and style. They were still not done. Under the hood, they put in a huge big block V8 engine to go with the powerful look. Everyone should have hope. This is great. This kind of building will make you feel like you can't do anything. These are just a few of the amazing things that Count's Customs can make. That's all, folks. These cars are more than just ways to get around. They're works of art that each tell a story of creativity, skill, and the never-ending search for beauty in the automobile world. One of the former employees, Joseph Frontier, was sued again in 2017, which put a cloud over the family that used to be very close. Once respected and kept quiet in the shop's holy halls, Joseph is now in the middle of a court storm. The accusations made against him were just as shocking as a squeaking tire on a lonely street at midnight. He was accused of stealing from the people who had taken care of him like a scary ghost, which goes against the basic idea of loyalty. It is said that Joseph stole money from Count's Customs and spent it on an expensive lifestyle that wasn't his. He is said to have destroyed the company's finances by spending hard-earned money that should have been used to grow it on his own extravagant lifestyle. He had a shiny Range Rover in his yard as a sign of his illegal wealth, and he had plane tickets to go somewhere new, but there was still a lot to pay for. There was a shocking charge that hurt both the shop and the IRS. It was also part of the lawsuit. As part of his plan to betray the company, Joseph reportedly failed to do what he was supposed to do and pay their taxes. Because of this, Count's Customs was faced with an IRS fine, which would make the company very angry. Will Joseph Frontier be punished for what he is said to have done wrong, or will he be able to avoid it like a ghost? After a long time, the building doors finally opened wide, letting everyone inside see the drama of a justice system that would seek the truth and punish evil. Throughout the trial, the shop's family stayed together, united by their desire for revenge and unwavering commitment to the values that had made Count's Customs a successful business. A fight for the shop's reputation was just as important as a fight for money. Nick Coker is married to Corey Coker right now. They got married in 2015 and since then, Corey has been a big part of the growth of Count's vamped rock bar and grill, helping with live music and other tasks. Dan Coker has made a lot of money from all of his businesses, which everyone knows. Aside from Count's Customs, the repair business he ran on the TV show Counting Cars, he also owns a rock band, a recording studio, a tattoo shop, and Count's vamped rock bar and grill. Danny Coker is a real car fanatic because he has more than 70 bikes and 58 cars in his collection. The 1966 Mustang GT that his father got him when he was nine years old is still in his collection. It has a special place in his heart and is an important part of his collection. 
The white Mustang with blue stripes is a big part of why he likes unusual cars so much. Danny has a lot of cars from the early 1970s, but he still can't get his hands on the 1972 Lamborghini Miura SV. In an interview from 2013, he said that he almost got one 15 or 20 years ago, but the deal fell through at the last minute. He never gave up his search for the Lamborghini Miura SV, which he thought was one of the most beautiful cars ever made. Danny still talked about the missed opportunity a lot in 2019, when he talked about how much the 1972 Lamborghini Miura SV has grown in value. He said that the car could be worth $2 to $3 million today, based on its state. Where is he? Danny Coker just showed up? People who like Danny Coker are eager to know what happened to him, because there are still too many questions. What happened to him? There is some good news about Danny Coker's life, even though there are still a lot of questions. There is a flash of light that tells us that better times are coming, even when we feel hopeless. Fans were happy when Counting Cars shocked everyone by coming back for a 10th season in September 2021. They thought the show was going to end. In the pilot episode, the famous Alice Cooper went to Danny's shop to get her Avante fixed and brought up to date. The History Channel is thinking about officially ordering an 11th season of the show because it is still doing well and getting good numbers. After the shooting season is over, Danny Coker can spend more time with his wife, Corey. When it comes to their personal lives, they have been very open about the fact that they don't want children and plan to stay married. Even though the COVID-19 pandemic has caused problems, Danny's businesses, Count's Vamped Rock Bar and Grill, Count's Tattoo Company, Count's 77 Rock Band and Count's Customs Auto Repair Shop have all kept going. Thanks for viewing and I look forward to seeing you in my next film.